Hey Archivers, what's going on? Media Bias here from the Halo Archive. We Today we are going to do the third episode of Multiplayer Map Lore, and it's going to be kind of a mix of both Monolith and Impact, two maps in Halo 4. Uh, one was strictly a Forge map, the other was in the Majestic Map Pack DLC. Uh, with me I have Toa Freak from Halo Cannon. Toa, you can say what's up, man. Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, I actually think, Toa, we'll start off with... You know, you can give the official description out of the Halo 4 visual guide if you'd like yeah. um, for Monolith. Here we go. Acquired from incredibly precise environmental scans stored on Requiem, this particular particular location is believed to have been a monument for Forerunner warriors shortly after their long-forgotten war with the ancient humans. In the aftermath of this great conflict, the Didact personally ordered a, that a number of these towering structures be built through the system, throughout the system, including the narrow asteroid field slung near the core world of so both Sothra Hakor, where this site apparently resides. While the, val while the validity of this hypothesis may be questioned, the scans acquired are incredibly compelling and clearly convey the majesty of Forerunner architecture. Great read. Um, there's definitely some interesting points that you mentioned in there <laughs> we can get to. Um, I guess for now we'll kind of start with, you know, the map itself. Um, when you start out, you know, you've got this cool Forerunner architecture, like you actually mentioned, um, in kind of a desolate system. We know we're right next to Sothra Hakor. Um, so we're in the Hakor system, which is where the last battle of Forerunners and humanity was fought. Um, and, you know, right when you start, and, and you had pointed this out, Toa, I didn't, I didn't think about the star system, but, you know, and I, and I didn't even notice this until now, but in the middle of the map above the middle base, on the top there's kind of this you know it's kind of like a pyramid upside down pyramid type thing and then it starts moving and it projects almost you mentioned a star system possibly yeah i mean you see these objects that are very clearly orbiting um you know a set, like a center of mass uh or this the um the structure which some have suggested may very well may be a map of that of the hukor system yeah so and that that'd be that'd be pretty cool too. I mean, it's like they they put that in there. Um, it definitely seems it kind of makes the map feel like it's alive um, when you Absolutely. when you go into it. You know, you've got we've got the two bases now. These are probably mostly for aesthetics. Um, would be you know the red side, the blue side, but there are some some strange symbols on each side that are different than the other. Um, you know, you could kind of, I guess, wonder what those are. We know <laughs> there's plenty. Forerunners loved symbols. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but overall, it's it definitely feels. I mean, once you read the description of that, hey, this was you know the warrior servants uh, monument. You can definitely. I don't know what it is, but it almost it feels like <laughs> it feels like it as well. Um, just with the the type of architecture, if you look at some of the towers on each side it almost it almost is similar to the not you know not exactly but almost just the um what what's the word i'm looking for the shape of mantle's approach yeah um, definitely or the definitely com or the composer so. do you have anything else on the the map itself that you can think of not exactly i mean most of it, most of it revol result revolves around the the holographic uh the holographic image at the center. The rest of it's mostly just, you know, aesthetic and, uh, you know, geometry for gameplay. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, if we were to look out into, you know, the space around it, though, there's definitely some interesting things. Most notably, right away, you can see the planet, Sothra Hakor, um, you know, which is just, I think, pretty cool in itself because that's the closest we've ever been to... Um, Charm, Charm a core, yeah. yeah, which has more than enough lore to go on for <laughs> hours of, of podcasting. Yeah. Um, hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch the full episode and other Halo videos, check out Halo Archives YouTube channel.